Let me welcome you to my channel. Before we begin the video, I would really appreciate it if you could subscribe and like this post. A recent snapshot of Jessa Duggar and her daughter Fern Seawald was published on social media. The most recent snapshot has the family's devoted fans believing that Fern is making a desperate plea for rescue. Is the eight month old infant doing okay? In this article, you will discover the opinions of both admirers and critics on the latest picture of Jessa's baby girl, Fern. On Wednesday, March 23, Jessa published fresh photographs on Instagram, one of which saw her carrying her baby in a carrier. Bringing along a slumbering fern, we're doing some morning housework, the mother of four said. Every time I see a baby carrier, my heart melts at the sight of those innocent eyes peering out. Ivy, who is two years old, is standing behind her mom in the backdrop of the shot. Fans are gushing about Fern Seawald's adorable eyes in the post's comment area. Along with the mother and daughter, they adore this tender moment. Nothing little about those breathtaking eyes, said one adoring admirer. Your children are stunning, and I can almost feel the pride radiating off of you. E. However, Fern's expression isn't universally admired. Some people assume she's lonely and wants to go away. Some Duggar trolls on Reddit took Jess's latest snapshot and made fun of it, claiming that Fern Seawald is pleading for aid. Their opinions are as follows. I need your help, Fern. I don't think Plant Hash 2 is thrilled about it. Fern, I'm sure you're asking how I got into this jam. This remark is only one of several that discuss Fern pleading for assistance. They feel this new picture doesn't show the infant in a particularly joyful or comfortable light. But, as Jessa pointed out, Fern is becoming gloomy. Perhaps her mom is simply carrying her around because she is so exhausted and not really upset. Fern seems to be sound sleeping in the second picture of the article. Perhaps Fern was just ready to go to sleep as it was nap time. In light of this new picture, do you believe Fern Seawald is pleading for assistance? Is it possible that she's just exhausted from being carried about in the baby carrier? Leave a comment with your take on everything. Go here for the latest updates on the Duggar family. Fans often try to decipher meaning behind carefully selected posts on social media, where each picture conveys a tale. In this instance, they are reading between the grins. The moment Jessa Duggar Seawalt posted a picture of her daughter Fern on Instagram, her supporters immediately noticed something out of the ordinary. Some admirers thought that baby Fern Seawalt, the youngest of Jessa's children, was pleading for assistance with her expressive eyes. At first look, the snapshot seemed to be just another one of many that Jessa had posted online. Fans have adored the Seawalds for a long time, and many of them have been following Jessa's journey from her time on 19 Kids and Counting. These days, Jessa shares regular life updates on her blog, giving readers a peek into the joys and turmoil of motherhood. She is a mother of four. However, many of Fern's admirers felt this most recent shot was unique. The photo of Fern seated on a chair, her face subtle yet endearing, sparked much curiosity. Even though the youngster had big, expressive eyes, they seemed distant and shiny, as if she were suppressing tears or was worried about something. A significantly more solemn expression replaced Fern's often bright and inquisitive stare, as seen by people who have watched the Seawald family for years. Many of the followers were worried for the small child, and their comments began pouring in almost instantly. It was pointed out that Fern's look didn't fit the joyful occasion. A number of people offered the possibility that the youngster was sick, exhausted, or just going through a typical period of moodiness in toddlers. Something seems off with Fern's eyes, one worried admirer said. She seems on the verge of tears, but she's attempting to muster up courage. Jessa, is everything all right? I hope you're checking in on her mama, another follower commented. You can easily tell whether a child is unhappy just by looking at their eyes. Some were harsh, accusing Jessa of maybe ignoring her daughter's feelings, but most were voiced with sincere concern. Are you serious? It's obvious she's upset in this photo, said one commenter. Kids aren't meant to be Instagram models. Perhaps she needs a little more TLC right about now. The discussion quickly escalated into a full-blown discussion over parenting in the internet era. In support of Jessa, other fans pointed out that one picture cannot reveal the inner workings of a production. Everyone has terrible days, children are no exception, according to one advocate. Maybe Fern was just going through a phase. 
This in no way indicates that anything horrible is happening. This response to Fern's picture may not have been totally surprising for Jessa, who has always been forthright about the difficulties of being a mother. For famous people like Jessa who post personal details about their life online, social media may have both positive and negative effects. One positive aspect of Instagram is that it allows her to interact with her audience, chronicle special moments in her family's life, and share personal stories. On the other side, Millions of people will be able to see her every move and critique her parenting style as much as they want. This delicate balancing act has always been easy for Jessa. She has shared both the idyllic and the less than ideal aspects of being a parent on her blog. She has been open and honest with her audience about the yuppies and downs of motherhood, including tantrums, insomnia, negative body image, and the process of recovering after childbirth. This most recent picture of Fern, however, hit a different chord since it dealt with a delicate subject that many parents, famous or not, can identify with. The fetus. Of failing to notice warning indications that their kid may be ill. Every parent understands that there are times when their child's emotions and actions are hard to read. Determining if a child is just exhausted, overloaded, or need more attention may be challenging. For Jessa, this could have been a fleeting period when Fern was acting strange but nothing more than the typical yubas and downs of being a toddler. Nonetheless, it sparked a deluge of worry amongst onlookers, demonstrating how much expression is possible even in a static image of a child's eyes. Keep in mind that no matter how moving a particular snapshot is, it only captures a fraction of the tale. Reality TV has thrust Jessa and her brothers into the spotlight, and viewers might easily lose sight of the fact that they are only privy to snippets of their life. All the worry over Fern's face belies the possibility that the narrative is just an everyday occasion rendered in an unusual manner. The importance that Jessa and Ben place on their children's happiness is something that viewers may not quite grasp. As parents, they've deliberated over how to bring up their children, and they usually choose a more traditional, religious approach that prioritizes family above celebrity and fortune. Daily routines like playing outdoors, reading aloud from the Bible, and spending time with extended family all contribute to the emotional well-being of their children. Indeed, Jessa has often spoken about the effort she and Ben make to make their children feel loved and supported. A recent interview with Jessa revealed that the couple makes a point to often check in with their children. We address their emotions and anxieties, reassuring them that they may confide in us about anything. Even Fern, the youngest seawall child, follows this pattern. Her expressions aren't always easy to decipher at this age. She's just over two, but her emotions are running high. The yubas and downs seen in her eyes, which have supporters worried, are probably simply typical for toddlers a world full of wonder, curiosity, and yes, sometimes tiredness or irritation.